Hey everyone, and welcome to Wicode, where in this video we're going to talk about memory management and its specificity to JavaScript. So in computer programming, memory management is controlling how a program works with RAM. RAM capacity is not infinite, so when a program is loaded into memory, the space it uses needs to be managed. If a program consumes too much memory without freeing it, then it will run out of memory and crash. Low-level languages like C rely on manual memory allocation and release. Higher level languages, like JavaScript, have automatic memory management. However, both manual and automatic memory management follow the basic memory lifecycle. And the memory lifecycle consists of three steps. Allocate memory, read from and write to the allocated memory, and then free the allocated memory when it is no longer used. The first step of the memory lifecycle, allocation, is automatically handled by JavaScript when values are declared initially or created through functions. So here we have memory allocated for a number, for a boolean, for a string, as these values are initially created, same with objects, and so on. So here each value will need allocated memory when it is declared. And now the second stage of the memory lifecycle, reading from and writing to memory, is also handled automatically with JavaScript when working with declared values. For example, passing a variable to a function, reading the value from a variable, changing the property of an object, etc. So here we are working with the myNum variable, or we are reading the value from memory. Here we are with the myObject object, and we are writing to memory its property, not fun. And now let's talk about the final step of the memory lifecycle, or freeing allocated memory. So in JavaScript, freeing allocated memory occurs during garbage collection which is a form of automatic memory management. A garbage collector determines if values are still needed. If they aren't needed, that allocated piece of memory is freed. There are different algorithms that garbage collectors use to determine if a block of allocated memory is no longer needed. For example, the mark and sweep algorithm frees up memory if the object taking it up is unreachable. In JavaScript, this is done by starting at the global object and traversing down it. If there are objects present with no reference, then they are removed. So for example here, we have memory allocated for the object myObject, and once we set it to null, the reference to myObject is removed. So here, setting the myObject reference to null makes this object unreachable, and therefore the mark and sweep algorithm will detect this, marking it for garbage collection. Memory can also be freed when allocated values are out of scope, such as after a function call has completed. So here we have memory allocated for the object, but once the my function call has ended, so past this line right here, the object inside my function can be garbage collected. And this is because after the my function call has ended, the reference to my object is no longer needed as it was declared locally to this function. So this is my video on memory allocation in JavaScript. I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. Besides that, have a good one.